Debunking Araki Forgot Parts 1 and 2. Alright, so uh, a viewer here in my Twitch live chat just donated to force me to react to this. I thought, why not make it a YouTube video? So, hi YouTube, follow me on Twitch right now or else I'm gonna... I really love the Debunking Araki Forgot. If you guys haven't seen my other reactions, uh, check them out. My editor put them all here. Or oh, he's fired. <laughs> All right. Welcome to the first part of my new series where I will be debunking a Rocky Forgot. I love how we didn't watch the first ones. I've collected a large ones. number of these from people online. Okay. And some seem so absurd to me that I'll be showing them on screen, just so you know I'm not making these up. I wanted okay. to go part by part for this series, but it isn't exactly possible for part one. Lots of people bring up things from part one, but they are really about things introduced in later parts. So I'll be focusing on the first two parts in this video. Okay! In part one, Will Zopelli demonstrates Hamon by punching a frog, leaving the frog unharmed and destroying the rock underneath. Many people point out that this is seemingly contradicted by Caesar in part two, who says that Hamon has no effect on stone. However, this is not the case. This is a wonky translation in the common anime subs, in the manga translation, you can see that Caesar is specifically talking about the Pillar Men themselves. Haman will be unable to kill them as long as they are stone. Mm. In part 1, Will was using the frog as a conduit to transfer the force of his punch to break the rock. While Caesar could definitely break the stone, it would have little effect. This is supported by the fate of Santana, who uh, is still right. alive despite being broken apart in his stone form. Caesar himself also witnessed that the Pillar Men will absorb whoever touches them while they're made out of rock. Another property of Haman people seem to think Araki forgot is the healing. In part 1, Will meets a man who uses Haman to heal people. He also uses Haman to heal Jonathan's broken arm. For some reason, people keep saying this is forgotten, when really it has no other opportunities to be used. Do people think that they could have healed Caesar or Loggins? <laughs> Do people think Haman can just bring people back from the dead? I fail to see the logic in bringing this up. In part 1, Dyer manages to spit a Haman infused rose at Dio while he is just a severed head. Some people ask how he is able to use Haman, which is based on breathing, while he has no lungs. This is a misconception, as you do not need to be breathing at all times to have Haman stored in your body. For example, Jonathan was still able to use Haman underwater after getting a quick breath of air. Haman is created by blood flow, and blood still flows in your body even when you're not breathing. Interesting. Dyer had his body frozen, which halted his blood flow. His head was still not frozen, so he was able to use the small amount of Haman he had left to infuse the rose. An extremely minor moment in part 1 is when Speedwagon uses his body heat to try and help Sapelli's frostbite. No. For whatever reason, people think this is a supernatural ability, despite him explaining that he learned it while traveling the world. One of the strangest things I've seen is a group of people who say Araki forgot about George Joestar's ring. George looked at it as he was dying, which makes the police officer bring up the story of George letting Dario go free. Okay. Over a hundred people apparently think he this was, was so meant hard. to come back in some way after George ice. gives Jonathan the ring. The ring is really just there for Jonathan to remember his father by when he looks at it during the fight with Dio, but apparently that isn't good enough. George actually only tells Jonathan to take it in the anime, so maybe people just assumed a larger emphasis was being placed on it from there. I really don't get why some people are so particular about this small detail. A recurring example people try to use to as an Iraqi oh. forgot is whenever there's a minor character who appears for a short time. In part one, the example would be the young boy character, Poco. Poco was an extremely minor character who is really only relevant for one fight. <sighs> He has a completed arc where he starts as a coward and eventually becomes brave and helps Jonathan. After this, his sister is rescued. I really have no idea why people would want him to come back, since he really has nothing left to do. After his why? defeat, Santana entered a rock-like state to save himself. The Speedwagon Foundation kept him underneath lights so that he would be unable to escape. A lot of people seem to think this is a plot hole, and it would imply Santana would return later. Really, he's written off in somewhat of a joke panel, so I really don't see how people expected this. At the end of the day, Santana is such a non-threat to Joseph that he probably just dispatched him off screen. A small one that I've seen brought up a surprising amount of times is asking what happened to Joseph's clackers. This is a prime example of people literally just not paying attention in the slightest, since the clackers were broken by Wired Beck. When Santana is first introduced, Strawheim names him after the Winds of Mexico. Later on, Wamu can be seen referring to him by the same name. This is after he overheard Santana's fate from the Nazis, so he must have heard the name there. The way Wamu refers to him also seems to imply that he never had a name to begin with. 
Mm. Kars also refers to him by name during the scene when Stroheim returns. Stroheim mentioned Santana a few moments earlier. Kars would obviously uh, I, I know, know who Stroheim is talk talking about, about since he's the only other pillar man, and would refer to him as Santana since that is the only name Joseph and Stroheim know him by. Another annoying thing people bring up is the motivation of Strazo. After growing old, he became jealous of Dio's immortality and decided to betray Speedwagon and steal the mask. People say that this conflicts with his previous actions, when he trained Lisa Lisa and gave her the Red Stone. Strazo was the one to raise Lisa Lisa, and taught her Haman since childhood. Lisa Lisa even has a line where she laments that Strazo eventually lost his mind, which mm. clearly occurred after he had begun to age. Okay, and? Obviously, Strazo would not be concerned about his aging until the signs started the show, well, yeah. and he didn't finally go over the edge until he learned that there were multiple stone masks. Finally, an idea that a lot of people seem to bring up it. is that yeah, Araki obviously. forgot about cars. What? I really don't understand why people would think this, since it was made very clear that Cars went insane and stopped thinking during his time in space. And that was everything I could find Jojo for fans. parts one and two. Anything Jojo else you want fans, covered, guys, leave it in the comments so I may address it in a insane. later video. Some of I the swear to God, I feel like Jojo. Jojo fans will screenshot this and it would be like, eh, there's a pixel that's wrong here. Arik is a fucking idiot! Like, part Dude, three. Part of the video where chill. I thank you five All and ten dollar right. pills. You don't need to take a chill pill for real. God, Araki forgot to age. Okay, now that one is real. <laughs> that's the only real one. Araki did forget to age. I mean, look at my dude. Look at him. He ain't aging. 